touring the world as an artist is an incredibly lucrative way to cash in on your stardom and connect with fans around the world. In fact, in 2019, worldwide music tours generated $5.5 billion. As with all things in life though, nothing comes without a cost. That cost being millions of tons of greenhouse emissions being pumped into the atmosphere from the many pieces required to execute a live show. That's why Coldplay are changing the game, pledging to reduce their CO2 emissions by 50% from their previous tour. Doing so is no easy feat and they have devised some incredible ways to reach their goal. This is how Coldplay's tour powers itself, kinda. To ensure the sustainability of their world tour, they are focused on three key pillars which are reduce, reinvent and restore. The real genius comes in the methods that they have implemented to ensure that they meet these goals. In the UK alone, live concerts generate 405,000 tonnes of greenhouse emissions every year. One of the main reasons for this is the transportation of all the components needed to perform a live show. Coldplay are reducing their emissions by partnering with global logistics company DHL. DHL support their goals by creating solutions to minimise logistic related emissions. This includes advanced biofuels when in the air and the use of electric vehicles on land. To execute a show as impressive as Coldplay's Music of Spheres tour, a lot of power is needed. Coldplay have implemented five ingenious ideas to help generate the power needed sustainably. The first is a partnership with BMW. This is to create the first ever mobile rechargeable show battery. These batteries are made from recyclable BMW i3 batteries and can be taken with them around the world. Wherever possible, they have been installing solar panels in and around the stadiums they visit, which will start charging up the batteries to power the show. Another partnership they acquired is with Nest. They provide renewable diesel produced 100% from renewable raw materials and waste products. This is also used to power some of the tour transportation, reducing emissions by up to 95%. There has also been a key emphasis on using renewable grid energy. If possible, they will use mains power from 100% renewable sources. This is why they started their tour in Costa Rica, where 99% of the mains power is renewable. The fifth power generating technique is one which has gone viral on social media. There are kinetic dance floors around the stadium which will literally generate power from people dancing. On top of this, they have pedal bikes which people can use to power the concert. I'm not sure if I spent a few hundred pounds on a concert ticket I'd want to be biking throughout it, but it's a cool concept nevertheless. As you can imagine, the travel involved of the stage kit and staff is a huge contributor to CO2 emissions. In an attempt to combat this, Coldplay carefully plan their route to minimise air travel, yet sometimes it's unavoidable. For all of their flights, whether commercial or charter, they are paying a surcharge to use sustainable aviation fuel. This is supplied by their partner Nest. When blended with fossil jet fuel, it reduces greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80% over its life cycle. Also, as mentioned previously, when on the ground, they will use electric vehicles wherever possible. Coldplay are providing each venue with a sustainability document in advance with best environmental practices. They will also adapt the show to use local equipment, materials and resources wherever possible. The stage is made from a combination of lightweight and low carbon materials which can be appropriately reused or recycled at the end of the tour. One of the features of the Music of Spheres tour is an LED wristband worn by each attendee which creates a sea of colour during the concert. These wristbands are made from 100% compostable plant-based materials. They are also not wasted. After each show, they collect, sterilise and recharge them for the next. When the tour is over, the electric component will be repurposed for future tours. The lighting will be composed of ultra-efficient, low-energy LED screens and lasers, and also a PA system which uses 50% less power compared to previous tours. Another large contributor to CO2 emissions is the thousands of fans who attend each show. Whilst most of their behaviour is out of Coldplay's control, they have implemented measures to guide them on a sustainable path. This includes an app which encourages them to use low carbon transportation and even rewarding them with a discount code for doing so. This app allows Coldplay to roughly work out the carbon emission caused by the fans which they can then offset. For example, planting one tree per ticket sold. 
To maximize their water efficiency, they have requested that venues introduce aerated taps and low flushing toilets, which reduce water wastage. Fans are also encouraged to bring their own reusable water bottles with refill stations being provided. To minimize waste, they have strived to eliminate the sale of single-use plastic at their venues and also established recycling programs within the stadium if they do not already exist. Taking this one step further, the show also supports the work of Ocean Cleanup to remove tons of garbage from highly polluting rivers. The carbon emissions from food can account for up to 20% of a person's carbon footprint, which is why there are measures in place to reduce this. These measures include locally sourced food, plant-based options as standard on all menus, composting waste wherever possible, and finally, donating any surplus to local food banks after the show. As you can guess by now, all of their merchandise is sustainably and ethically sourced. When possible, it will be made from natural fibres and recyclable elements. The merch will be packaged in recyclable paper, card or compostable bags, and they have chosen to work with specific vendors who practice ethical working conditions and fair wages. Ultimately, Coldplay know that despite their best efforts, the tour will still generate a significant amount of greenhouse emissions. This is why they are funding multiple projects to offset the impact that the tour will have. These include reforestation, soil restoration projects, ocean cleanup, rewilding and conservation. Whilst Coldplay's efforts are not the final solution to 100% sustainable touring, it is a huge leap in the right direction which will hopefully inspire other global artists to implement similar features at their concerts.